This is part one of William Shakespeare. And in this video, I have uh, included questions and answers on uh, uh, Shakespeare and his works in general instead of concentrating on a particular play. But uh, I'll uh, make a series on his tragedies and comedies uh, separately. So don't miss it. And do subscribe my channel to get notified. Um, you know, share with your friends. And of course, don't forget to drop a comment. William Shakespeare, 1564 to 1616. He was born on 26 April 1564 at Stratford-upon-Avon, England, and he lived during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. Known as Bard of Avon, uh, Shakespeare was known as Bard of Avon, and Bard means poet, and he was born at Stratford-upon-Avon, so he was known as Bard of Avon. He was often called uh, the England's national poet. His wife was Anne Hathaway and his children were Susanna, Hamnet and Judith. Hamnet and Judith were twins. And he died on 23rd April 1616. Now the first question, what is the name of Shakespeare's theatre, The Globe? So it's a theatre in London associated with William Shakespeare. And in which year was the Globe Theatre built? 1599. So the Globe Theatre was built in the year 1599 and it was built by Shakespeare's playing company known as Lord Chamberlain's Men. So the Globe Theatre was built by Lord Chamberlain's Men and Globe Theatre was burnt in 1613 while performing Henry VIII. And this Globe Theatre uh, attracted huge crowds and most of the Shakespeare's plays were performed here. And it was burned while performing Henry VIII, which uh, is a collaborative play Shakespeare wrote with John Flesher, who was a great playwright. That is, a fire began during a performance of Henry VIII and uh, it was burned and destroyed in 1613. It was rebuilt in 1613. So... After it was burnt in 1613, it was rebuilt within a year, in, uh, that is in 1614. And again, it was shut up by Puritans in 1642. So the Puritans are English Protestants in 16th and 17th century. And according to their belief, the theatres were uh, evil places. So they just shut up uh, uh, the theatre uh, in the year 1642. So just have a look at it once again. That is Shakespeare's Theatre is called the Globe Theatre and it was built in 1599 by Shakespeare's playing company called Lord Chamberlain's Men. And the Globe Theatre was burnt and destroyed while performing Henry VIII, which is a collaborative play Shakespeare wrote with John Flesher. And it was burnt in 1613, rebuilt in 1614 and shut up by Puritans in 1642. Shakespeare's sonnets were published in 1609 and he wrote 154 sonnets uh, and they were published by Thorne and Thorpe who was an English publisher. I've uh, made a series on sonnets which includes uh, Shakespeare's sonnets as well so just watch it. Name the editors of the first folio of Shakespeare's plays. Condell and Heming, they are actors as well, so they are, uh, they are editors of the first folio of Shakespeare's plays. And the first folio of Shakespeare's plays was published in the year 1623. Um, out of 37 plays, 36 plays were included in the first folio. Okay? Uh, the play that was excluded uh, from the first folio was Pericles. So, out of 37 plays, 36 plays were included in the first folio, which was published in the year 1623. Pericles was excluded from the first folio. And the years of four folios, first folio in 1623, second 1632, third 1663 and fourth folio in 1685. Two important journals devoted for the study of Shakespeare, Shakespeare Survey and Shakespeare Quarterly. And uh, um, these two journals, uh, you know, are the best journals out of the various journals devoted 
specifically to Shakespeare. And Shakespeare Quarterly is a leading journal which uh, focuses on all aspects of Shakespearean studies. Now, so Shakespeare Survey and Shakespeare Quarterly are the two important journals devoted for the study of Shakespeare. Name a play of Ben Johnson in which Shakespeare acted. Every man in his humor. And uh, this is a 1598 play by the English playwright Ben Johnson, a contemporary of William Shakespeare. And Johnson and Shakespeare knew each other um, personally and uh, there was a respectful and healthy uh, competition between the two. And uh, we all know that Shakespeare acted in many of his own plays and was even thought to have acted in uh, Johnson's Every Man in His Humour. Now, next, a lady novelist of Victorian age is said to have been influenced by Shakespeare, who was she? Emily Bronte. So, she was an English novelist and poet and is best known for her only novel, Wuthering Heights. Uh, it is, and this novel is considered as a classic of English literature. Um, Emily Bronte used to read a lot of uh, uh, Shakespeare's works and uh, it seems almost certain that she was highly influenced by Shakespeare's writings. If we look at the characters of Emily Bronte, for example, if you uh, a character Kathy has got similarities with uh, Ophelia in Hamlet because both of them are uh, driven mad. So a lot of similarities can be found in uh, the characters of uh, uh, Emily Bronte, Bronte and uh, Shakespeare. So that shows that she uh, was highly influenced by Shakespearean works. Now how many plays did Shakespeare write in all? 37. And these plays are divided into tragedies, comedies, and histories. Uh, and out of 37 plays, 10 of them are history plays, 10 uh, tragedies, and 17 of them are comedies. Name the first published work of Shakespeare, Venus and Adonis. So Venus and Adonis is a long narrative poem of William Shakespeare, and it, is a, it was the first published work of Shakespeare. And... Altogether, he wrote five long narrative poems, and they are first one, um, Venus and Edelis, written in 1593, and it is dedicated to Henry Wriothesley. Uh, it's a it's a common uh, it's a familiar name uh, when it comes to sonnets, uh, Shakespeare sonnets. That is, um, in many of the sonnets, we can find a reference to fair use, which uh, uh, critics believe to be Henry Wriothesley. So, Venus and Edinus is dedicated to Henry Wriothesley, and The Rape of Lucrece in uh, 1594 is also dedicated to Henry Wriothesley. Uh, another narrative poem is The Passionate Pilgrim, which is an anthology of 20 poems published in 1599 by William Jaggard. So, it's a collection of 20 poems, The Passionate Pilgrim. Next one is The Phoenix and the Turtle, uh, written in 1601, which is the first great published metaphysical poem and the metaphysical poem uh, is a poem which has a topic of love, religion, uh, morality and so on and a lover's complaint is another long narrative poem written in 1609 and published by Thomas Thorpe uh, which is uh, who was also the person who published uh, Shakespeare's sonnets so the five long narrative poems of William Shakespeare, Venus and Adonis, The Rape of Lucrece, The Passionate Pilgrim, The Phoenix and the Turtle, and A Lover's Complaint. Which is the shortest play of Shakespeare? The Comedy of Errors. And uh, it is a comedy, of course, and it is also the shortest play of Shakespeare and is uh, uh, considered one of his earliest uh, plays. Shortest tragedy is Macbeth. The longest play of Shakespeare is Hamlet, and it is also a tragedy, uh, and it is one of uh, Shakespeare's revenge plays. Um, so, the shortest play of Shakespeare is the Comedy of Errors. The longest play is Hamlet, but the shortest tragedy is Macbeth. Which are the two Shakespearean plays that are written entirely in words? Richard II and King John. So, verse is uh, 
verse means poetry. So you can find Shakespeare in plays uh, a, a mixture of verse and prose. So this, these two uh, plays, that is Richard II and King John, are written entirely in verse. Shakespeare's plays without any love scenes, Julius Caesar and Macbeth, both are tragedies and, it, uh, and both of them uh, don't have any love scenes. Which is the last play of Shakespeare? The Two Noble Kinsmen. So, uh, this is the last play of Shakespeare and it is a tragic comedy uh, and it is uh, also a collaborative work of Shakespeare and uh, John Fletcher, uh, that is, it was written in 1613, that is three years before uh, Shakespeare's death, that is, he died in 1616. So that is about uh, Shakespeare's last play, The Two Noble Kingsmen. Name the biography of Shakespeare written by Dover Wilson, The Essential Shakespeare, and uh, Dover Wilson. Um, is particularly known for his work on Shakespeare and he was a great scholar of uh, Renaissance drama and the essential Shakespeare is a biography of Shakespeare written by Dover Wilson. Now who reproduced King Lear with a comic ending? Neil Tate and Neil Tate reproduced Shakespeare's King Lear with a comic ending. Unlike um, you know Shakespeare's King Lear has got a very tragic ending and uh, Naomi Tate reproduced it with a comic ending and it is titled The History of King Lear. Which are the problem plays of Shakespeare? All's well that ends well, Troy is in Cressida, measure for measure. So these are the problem plays of Shakespeare, which means the plays that uh, deals with uh, this, the social issues or the problems of society. So that is uh, the that is the meaning of problem plays and Shakespeare's problem plays are all as well. That ends well. Troy is a procedure and measure for measure. The two revenge plays of Shakespeare, Hamlet and Titus and John Post. So um, the revenge plays uh, of Shakespeare are Hamlet and Titus and John Post. Which of Shakespeare's plays can be termed pastoral? As you like it. And... Um, uh, this uh, pastoral uh, place that is as you like it is uh, you know categorized as pastoral comedy and pastoral uh, refers to the life of shepherds, uh, rural people, uh, their ways of living, their customs etc or and so on and the place the play carries pastoral elements uh, because most of the actions take place in um, in the forest of Arden, so in as you like it, the settings of uh, the forest of Arden and uh, with, uh, with the additions of uh, shepherds. So there is a simplicity of country life and that makes uh, as you like it a pastoral play. So Shakespeare's place that can be termed pastoral is as you like it. And thank you for watching.